how did I enjoy it? Uh, it was remarkable. Um, it's, a, it's an incredible thing for a designer to spend four and a half, five years designing a boat like this, working with you guys to build it, and then come on board and see the finished, finished article. Uh, it, I'm very proud of what we've achieved. The, um, the levels of, of finish on the boat, the lack of noise, the lack of vibration, when we, when we cruised this morning up and down the coast, it was as if the boat was on railway lines, you know, it was so smooth. We were doing, at one point, the captain said, okay, we're doing 15 knots now. And I didn't even think we were moving yet, you know, it's just remarkable. How did this project get started? Well, this, this is an interesting project because it stemmed from the fact that the client, who was a repeat client, he's a limited edition owner, he then decided that we'd all made a big mistake and we'd made the boat too small. So he wanted something bigger, grander, to entertain his family and friends. And he said that this is what he wanted, a boat of this size. How do we recognize it's a Tim Haywood? Well, I suppose I like, I like to think that all my boats are different, but you can see they come from the same hand. There's a strength of line, there's the female forms, which I like to think are athletically feminine. Things like the wing stations, which, which we, we actually developed on this boat to incorporate the life rafts, which I was a detail I was particularly pleased with. And then be beneath that, there is the owner's balcony, port and starboard. Now these are details which you can look at and, and I would hope the educated eye would say, well, oh, I think that's probably a Tim Haywood Amel spot. So when you look at that, you look at the way the rub rails come around the stern, there's all details which may take me an extra 10 seconds to draw, but it takes the shipyard hours and hours and hours to build. And I'm very grateful that they are prepared to invest that effort and time into producing what I really believe is a work of art. I'm so pleased with it. More specifics about the boat. Well, I don't like to call her a boat, no. She's not even a yacht, she's a ship. This is a real strong yacht that you really feel when you look at the, the strength of the detailing, you know, the sizes of the metalwork, I really feel you could take this boat anywhere in the world, in any weather, and she would sail straight through it. deck on this boat is vast, the deck spaces are vast, but, but they're vast in a sense they're still, they're broken into conversation areas, so they're still kind of family orientated. Uh, you know, where we're sat now we've got a lovely dining table here, a nice bar, they're all nice areas which come together to, to create an environment that, you know, anyone can be proud to bring their family here and enjoy it. I love it. It's been a fantastic cooperation between the client, the design team, Andrew and myself, and the shipyard. Uh, with a good manager, Yavor's done a great job. So we've, we've all pulled together to produce something which I think uh, is, a, is a credit to us all. You know, it's a bit like the client is the kind of grand conductor, and we're all members of the orchestra, and we've pushed together and created a beautiful piece of music, which again is appropriate for the name of the boat. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a fantastic project, and um, I hope that the client gets as much enjoyment out of the project of owning the boat as we have of building it.